What's going on, guys? Plenty. Welcome back to the Football Capital. We are back for another Premier League show. I've got the main man in the building, the Aussie Guna. Steve, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, my friend. Good How are you? Good evening, mate. I'm fucking, you know, not too bad. Not too bad. Not it's, too bad. It's that new manager bounce, mate. That thing came in a full effect. Yeah, <laughs> I'm telling you, it's like that wild card that's fucking... Yeah, yeah, <laughs> The yeah. whole team changed, bro. But anyway. Yeah, guys. Look, welcome back to another Premier League show. Some big games are this week. Liverpool bouncing back to winning waves. Is that going to be uh, something to continue on? What, you're talking rejuvenation. Rejuvenation. <laughs> it wasn't the best performance, but we'll get into them. Up against the Spurs there. Man City doing what champions do, mm. getting it done. Getting it done yeah. late with 10 men as well. Um, yeah, you look united. It's... it's <laughs> Yeah, Arsenal. Yeah, yeah. Well, Arsenal, Arsenal United. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hey, oh. yeah, yeah. What's one of them? Uh, <laughs> another day in the office, I guess. Oh, fucking hell. Uh, we move. Um, Chelsea nil, Arsenal one. Probably the match of the round there. London is red, Steve. Very red. Very I mean, red. You get another win at um, at Stamford Bridge. Bridge. Just my so place, bro. Your, yeah, the second home apparently for the for Tell the Gunners. Me, but where do you want to start, Steve? Because there were some other games here far in between. But um, let's let's go into your Gunners, bro, because I think the main game of the round and um, Arsenal, bro, doing the business once again, not convincing in terms of performances that we've seen throughout the season. Mm. But, hey, three points is three points. And, yeah, it's, it's you know, it's nothing personal. It's just business, it, apparently. That's all it is. It's that's just all, business. A, a, end of the day, we're <laughs> coming. personal, no, Steve. We're, we're, com we're coming in the Stanford Bridge to get our free points, you know, and Aubameyang's blue now, right? Oh, Isaac. you fucking blue cunt. You are fucked now. Taking off the I don't know, bitch. bro, because like, well, what do you, he, I, I know. Kind of, he was no, like, I, I, I thought I know. he was aging Aubameyang because sometimes, I remember yeah, I, back in our days, mm. early, early fucking supporting our clubs, Arsenal used to have the blue kit, you know, I remember them ones. So well, by, by that, subliminal, uh, so, he's still, he's still so, like, so, so I'm maybe, Arsenal away. So maybe it's like 008, 008 not, not even yeah, 007, 008, mate, like 008. 008. Maybe, yeah, well, maybe. Forever, bro. He's done the dodges. I'm telling you, because he was <laughs> missing. Saliba had him in his pocket. Yeah, do you know what? He, he, he <laughs> missing in terms of he didn't do much. But if, if Havertz gets that ball to him, it's a tapping. So It's what you call pressure, bro. You know what I mean? He's <laughs> under pressure. Havertz is like, what do I do? I've got these fucking defenders on me. You know, last ditch. I'm going to fuck this up. Yeah, well, look. Bro, look, um, look let, let's be honest. I mean, this game, this game, to be honest, it's not going to be a pushover. Chelsea, I know they're in a situation now, new manager, new owners, um, some injuries, but Chelsea are not a pushover team. So, of course, being a London, being being a um, a London derby, both teams are going to be up for it. You know what I mean? They always say they always say, look, form is out the window when it comes to a London to a Mate, London derby. Form was out the window for fucking. Chelsea, oh. and for them, I don't think it was a London derby. I don't think they came into it thinking it was a London derby because I don't know what they were playing. It was horrible, Steve. To be honest, bro, watching that first half, it was to be honest, it was, it was a rubbish from both teams. To to be fair, oh, we, can, of, we controlled, we controlled, yeah, yeah, yeah. we controlled don't that game. We wrong. controlled, don't we get controlled me wrong. That game. So if, if you guys were bad in that first half, then what were Chelsea? It was like there's no point of rocking up. To be honest, they should just. Here's your three points. Let's not worry. Save the injury. Save the, the, the even, million that, of yellow cards yeah, that were oh. thrown out in this game. Card after card. He was a bit card happy. Oh, fuck yeah. But, bro, to be honest, the first half, you guys only had you had zero shots on yeah, target, bro. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I know, I know we'll we speak about the, the Jesus chance, but, mm. but it was just like error after error. They had the ball. Your press was fantastic. They couldn't get out. And still, let's play out from the back. You're an idiot. Yeah, fuck. Let's play out from the back and Mendy almost and, got and, caught out again. And Mendy doesn't like playing out from exactly, the back. Like, fuck, exactly. Why are we doing this? And, and he's under pressure. It's like he's a shit keeper. He's not a shit keeper. He just doesn't fucking suit that system. Yeah. And, you know and, and, and that's the thing, bro. It's like they go, in, they go into the game. They've seen the, the few couple times you guys hit him on the, with the press or off the goal kick. And you're still playing out, bro. <laughs> Change it up. Just go along. Fuck it. Just go along. Send yeah. it along. See if we can. Proof it. Yeah, Proof it. See if we can. You, you can. If you can keep Arsenal trapped in their half for a little bit, and see if you can create something. Bit of luck. You never fucking know, bro. You it's never a, fucking. It's know. about relieving that pressure. But look, it didn't happen for them, and you guys just kept on pushing and pushing and pu very unlucky with a few chances. Ben White had a, t a two. Oh. One of them was a. a, a a bit more of a clear cut opportunity yeah. to get the goal. The second chance I think you had. Yeah, the second one. Yeah. Um, Odegaard a few a few times 
spraying some balls in that chance I went over. Was it to go over that one? Yeah, well, the one, the shot he took went over yeah, in the second he, half. That's I mean, right. he skied that. Oh, that was in the second half, yeah. That was a yes, good yes. opportunity, man. And even Saka had a good opportunity and skied that second half, yeah. though. Not like the first. But yeah, but the, fir- the first half was something to forget, to be honest. I mean, pff, honestly, bro, you guys came out. Did what you guys had to do. Got the goal. Wasn't the perfect goal, but you fucking take it. Any day. You Any take day. it all day. You got to love um, Gabriel's tweet. Nothing personal. It's London not, is red. It's not personal. It's not. It's business in the end. It's, it's business. I mean, it's three points. I, you know, honestly, I looked at yeah. some of these Chelsea players. It just felt as if in the second half, right? It's like they were coming at us, but in the back of their minds, they're thinking, if we lose this ball, what are they going to do to us? Because every time, every yeah, time, they, worried, bro, every worried. time, yeah, they look scared on the ball. It's like we lose this ball, they're going to counter us, and we're in trouble. And there was numerous times Martinelli on the left hand side, that Jesus opportunity that literally came from us defending. Yeah, listen, yeah, sorry, we went straight to the second half, but that fucking see that they tried to press you guys. Yeah, it didn't work. You guys, bang, 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 with some great football, very you know reminiscent of the old Arsenal, bro. Under it was the, the old Wenger days, old Wenger days, where you know you, you wanted you guys wanted to walk it in. And I Almost. think, yeah, and but but to be honest, bro, that this is where, all right, he's got the result here. It's not hurting you in this game, but he needs to take them chances. He, Big time. He, I, know everyone, I know everyone can say he's he's done well for you guys so far, even though he's got five goals, four assists, whatever it might be. I've, I've five, five and five. Yeah, his, his, his link, the link up play is good, but at the end of the day, bro, you want your nine to score goals. And, and chances Especially like that, that opportunity. you need to at least get it. We say at least get it on target. We saw Mopai against Liverpool oh, get it, at least get it on target, but you need to hit that. There you, goes the light, mate. You need to work, you not work the keeper, but stretch the keeper, if you know what I'm saying. You know what exactly. I mean? So, what? Uh, yeah, and, and, and that's what I'm saying. And that's what I'm saying. You need to make him work. Yeah. And across, across goal, you need to make that count. You need to put your team 1 0 up. But that should have been 1 0. That should have been 1 0 all day. And I think Jesus needs to, he needs to have a, a long, hard look at himself now. Now the pressure is starting to build. I think this guy right now, I mean, as, as dangerous as his look, his link-up play, yes, it's phenomenal. His work rate's great. I mean, he chopped. I remember there was one There was one, one period in the second half, he chopped three fucking Chelsea players in half. He made him look like a fucking dirty rag. Great build-up play. But if you're not going to finish it with a goal, it does it does leave a, a sour taste in your mouth. Like that, that, that build-up play for that header, honestly, after all that work, and literally, it's clear-cut. All he has to do is get his head on it, and we all know where he's going. He's white, mate. Oh, mate, look at that. See, we're losing didn't, fucking didn't lights tonight. Look. Keep talking, Steve. Keep talking. Oh, no, you better get, get over there, mate. Get over there. You, you keep going, mate. But get, the, get the producer to fucking, you know, fix this shit up, mate. What are we paying you for? Daryl, get in, mate. Fuck. Jeez. I'm telling you, you're fucking fired, mate. I'm telling you, you're fucking fired. You're not getting fucking paid. One light. Where's my other one? You shit cunt. That's all we can afford. Bloody hell, mate. Bloody hell. I'm telling you, good help. His heart's are fucking fine. Just ask fucking Potter. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Arsenal, yeah, we're back. Uh, and we're back. That's so, a, bit of a quick transfer, bro. So Arsenal go to Stamford Bridge, get themselves fucking three points, slap fucking Chelsea, another one. I mean, that's what we do when we go to Stamford Bridge anyway. It was it was inevitable. And the best thing about this game, one of the best parts of the game was when fucking Aubameyang came off early and I was like, eat a dick. The one thing I didn't like of Aubameyang was that late tackle. Did you see that tackle on Ben White? Yeah. It was a bit late. It was a bit late. It was a, a bit, bit late. late you, know, he's, you know, I'm thinking to myself, Ugh. and the Granite Jacker moment. There was one thing there where I was like, you know what? I saw you saw that little argy bargy. The one thing I'm going to give Granite Jacker for this season is by far best midfielder we've had so far this season. And in a, in a situation where it started to Chalaba, Kovacic, all that, the old Granite Jacker would have headbutted someone or fucking maybe punched someone. But this Granite Jack is just smiling away yeah, and he's and keeping it. it cool and that's what it's about in the end. Yeah, you know drop, I mean? drop the, the F-bomb at the, in the interview. And, that was, and that's why I'm liking this guy even more yeah, now. Well, <laughs> exactly, exactly. But look, a massive three points there for Arsenal. Guys, let us know what you think in the comments about this game. Arsenal now top surely of top of the league. But you got to, you got to, Arsenal fans have now got to say uh, title contenders don't shy away from it. Definitely, I think now top four. You're definitely top, oh, top yeah. four is certain. Top three. If you if you guys yeah if you guys capitulate if you guys capitulate somehow and and make and not make the top four, oh. then someone needs to go. Someone needs to get sacked big and time. big time. And there needs to be not just not just the manager and the owners and some players. There needs to be a big chunk of you guys. Yeah, we had a mad start, fantastic, but you can't be a first with. And also, history tells you. 
with these amount of points, usually they go on to win the league. The team goes yeah. on to win the league. But unfortunately, fortunately, unfortunately, we do have men. I think City Newcastle the, were the only team, wasn't it? Newcastle. Newcastle was the only team that was the only team that kind of yeah. Do that, it. I that think United won it that year, yeah. ninety six. <laughs> but um, and that's the thing. And unfortunately, Man City are in the competition <laughs> this time around. So, yeah. and we all know. How, how they did and we'll jump straight into their game real quick just to yeah. touch on it because they again no Haaland we saw how it was last week with no Haaland they just got, got the one new win uh, in, in Champions League they I think they drew again um, that one as well even though they were through the goals were kind of drying up and hey against Fulham they're not fucking about this season because they're like we're in the Premier League and we're yeah. here to stay we're not here to fuck about no, 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 we no, ain't no. doing this no. fucking uh, come in, come out business. Yeah, yeah, bro. No, 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 no. No like hokey that. pokey, bro. Just fucking. We're Fulham gonna. Fulham is a serious team. Fulham is a serious team, and they're playing some nice football. They, they, they are, are, bro. They are. That, that Andre Silva, when he was at Everton and all that, it didn't work out for him. Was he? Was he? Where was he before that? Was he at Wolves? I don't know. Was he at Wolves? And then he went. I can't remember. I know I he was think, at Everton. No, it didn't so. work I out. Think, yeah, I think he was at Wolves. I think he was at Wolves. Yeah. And yeah. Then, and yeah. Then, and then what's his name? Nuno came and in. And then Nuno came in. Yes. Yes. I think it was Wolves. Maybe. Anyway. Yeah. Anyways, whatever. Whatever it might be. They look. They're playing. They're playing. A, they're playing okay. They're getting the job done. They're staying in the mix, bro. They're in seventh, eighth positions. Yeah. They're fighting for Europe, and um, they get the early, early penalty. I think it was, and Cancelo gets sent off. See you later. Last player. Fucking prick on they my did fans. well. Yeah, I know. Mine is too, bro. Everyone. Yeah, mine, had, but mine. you know what? Everyone has him. So everyone's kind of. Yeah, everyone, everyone got screwed. Same. Yeah. Everyone got screwed. Um, and then yeah, look, they they get a goal back. But do you know what, bro? When you got someone like Haaland comes in. The Bruyne 95th minute, they get a pen. Bro, and you know what? Like, that was the softest. Leno, Leno should have fucking, didn't want to help you guys out. Leno went the right way, man. Didn't want to help you out. You know what? He went the right way. Fuck these cunts. He got it, he got it. They think they want to be at the top of the tree. He got his body on it and he wondered why he was fucking told to go eat a dick and fuck off out of Arsenal. And that's why, that's why he let it slip. He let it go. Because he knows... These guys. That's why he. That's why we got rid of him for Arsenal because he just lets it go. But then he let he, it slip. Yeah, let you it know slip. what I mean? You more know, than, so more than a few times as well. Fucking man. a lot more yeah. than a few times, mate. But, it's um, a joke, mate. Look, they, uh, they got the goal there. Let me see. Hold on. Let me see. Who you got? Who got the? Um, where are they, bro? You looking for Man City? For? Where are Man City at, bro? Second. No, no, not on the table. <laughs> Oh yeah, Alvarez. Alvarez cracked, bro. Alvarez was the goal. Yeah, they, they scored first, bro. Yeah. That's right, they scored first. Alvarez was the first goal. A, and then a was cracker a goal. Yeah, 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 it was a that cracker was a good goal. goal. Good goal. That was a good goal. Good, good finish. Um, What's that? How many goals are that? Three for him? I'm not sure, bro. I think that's three for him now. Maybe. I think, maybe. That's I think he him. might have scored at the start of the season when they pumped someone six with six goals. I think that's his third goal. Yeah, yeah. but look, and then getting yeah. that penalty in the 95th minute there, they they still keep in touch with uh, the big boy Arsenal. Ten men, all the possession. Knocking on the door with ten men like that—that's that's big. And yeah. against a team that's Fulham, that's no pushover. So this is that's yeah. it. look. It's it's desperate time, desperate measures with that penalty with um De Bruyne. But end of the day, you know what three I mean. Points are three points. Three points, you take them. Uh, look, there was Forest two all with Brentford. You know, a bit of a relegation scrap there. <laughs> yeah. Kind of Brentford are kind of dropping slowly. No Ivan Tony in this one. Uh, Wolves again, they're in trouble as well, bro. I think me and Kev predicted them. A surprise, like a shock relegation for them to go down. And you know what? It could come true. Leeds had to bounce back from fucking 3-1 yeah. to, to win this one. Yeah. Scenes over there against Bournemouth. Bournemouth are losing it. I think Southampton ditched their... Uh, yeah, bro. They haven't, it's not, it's not official. It hasn't been official, but I think Hassan who was gone, bro. See you later, bro. Fuck. Disappointing. Telling you. After getting pumped 4-1 to, to Newcastle, these cunts have, have fucking... Um, they don't understand that it, it, it was meant to take a, a while or not. Fucking this season, not two months. I swear it was like 10 minutes he's been in the job. It's like, get the fuck out. That's <laughs> what the fuck, bro. Yeah, but I'm talking, I'm talking about Newcastle, bro. They're, they're meant to realise that, bro. Their process was their two, process three years. Not now, not this season. Their process right oh, now, fuck. like Almiron on point, Gumeresh on point. These guys are not fucking about. And you know what? Four They've goals. got a point to yeah, prove. Four goals, three games in a row now. Yeah. Fuck me dead, bro. Have, do you see their fans just absolutely losing? Having a party, bro. I'm telling you, man. They're having a party, they've bro. They've got a great a party. support, that mob. And you know what? You know, it's deserved. The kind of football they're playing, it's yeah. expansive. It's exciting. You're, what, you're happy to watch a Newcastle game as a neutral because you know it's going to fucking lead to goals. You know yeah, what I mean? Not anymore, bro. I'm fucking out. I've had enough. I've had enough of them, mate. You've got to look up to see them now. You're like, uh, fuck off, you pricks. That's, that's my spot. What are you doing here? Um... Let's have a look. Uh, Palace, bro. Vieira's oh. boys getting oh, a last yeah, minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Patrick. Last minute, um, a winner Patty. there. Bit of a deflection, I think it might have been a little bit, but yeah. they get the they get the goal there. Uh, who else did we so have? Brighton. Be- oh, we spoke about yeah, we Brighton. Talk, yeah, we spoke yeah. about Brighton. We got, we got Liverpool and Spurs. Liverpool and Spurs, yeah. mate. What's Which going on? I predicted the bounce back. I predicted Liverpool, and I'm saying it to you guys that you guys are going to win three nil because Spurs are tailor made for you. And then I saw the bloody formation, and I thought, yep, it's in sync with December because I'm telling you. Christmas tree settings on that pitch. I'm telling you, all they needed was a star. They like and they had it on a How pitch. many defenders? Nine defenders on us, I think. It was, uh, it was all out defend. And it's like, yeah, Liverpool are not going to break us down. Playing into Jurgen Klopp's hands. Seriously. Look, Spurs, Spurs deserve it, bro. They they wanted a world class manager. They got him. They look to get at the moment. They have the results where it's keeping them afloat on the top four. So they shouldn't really complain. He's wanted top four. He's wanted to, to be up there. Then you he's made it into the next round of the Champions League, just about. Sacrificing football. Sac- yeah, terrorism, terrorist football, bro. I swear, bro. And you know what? But this game that deserves. You know, but you know what it game. is, bro. It's it. It's all gonna be okay with this type of football if the at, it's a result. At, if the no no if the at the end of the year they're lifting a trophy. If, of course. Yeah. If, if you if you just make top four, which has been done before, then it's a, it, it wasn't worth it. If you win a trophy. FA Cup, Cutting Cup, Champions League, let's just say, yeah. whatever whatever it yeah. might be. I, don't, I think you're out of the race now for, for the Premier League. I think it's a big, big stretch, but then it's worth it. Yeah, of course. But if, you come to, if course. they come to the end of the season, no trophy, no top four. Even if they get a top four, even yeah, if they even, get top yeah, four, but even what? If that's exactly, then it wasn't worth it, bro. You might as well just fucking bring in someone else that's going to at least play attractive football. And then with that, you get the results. And at, at, least, at least where you are now, your fans will be a little bit a bit more optimistic going to the, all these other games but Liverpool bro they, they came out Salah uh, and look bro the first goal that they scored Darwin gives it to him and if you look at his movement Salah's movement there and all the kids you you guys need to be watching that movement Quick turn. he's one he's, he's between he, he's got a defender on him or in front of him he, he, he drops okay. out and he's got three, de- three defenders looking at him he, so he's in the pocket now, and he's, that's where you want to be. The three defenders are looking at each other. Who's got him now? Too late. It's in the back of the net. But how quick so was that, it? Yeah, that movement, a lot, of, a lot of you kids that are playing football want to reach that level, start looking at not just the goal and, and the runs and the, the skills, look at that, that movement there from Salah. And then Dyer decides to... Uh, Dyer straights? Dyer straights. I'm telling you. Yeah, this decides to fucking give it to him and go, here you go, well, Salah. Well, and listen, a well, at least, well that's, good, that's a good start. Assist. Assist, yeah, Put himself yeah. an assist. assist. Well done, mate. He's playing for the England squad, bro. <laughs> so he's like, hey, <laughs> Gareth Southgate, look at this one. I can assist ya. But yeah, poor, poor clearance, bro, to be honest. And there's another mistake from their back line. And the, you know what? They, they, they had him on the ropes a little bit. Liverpool didn't play the best. It no. was just good individual performances by a, a few players. They didn't really play the best football again. But again, they got the result. And so I think they need... I think they got Southampton next, sacked their manager. So who knows? You can, you can probably see him losing that game now, Liverpool. The way, the, the, way way they're, they're the way they're going, it's literally you, you up beat, down. You yeah. beat all these teams yeah. and then you lose to Forest and all that. You beat Spurs and what's the chance of now Southampton? Man, new manager yeah. bounce. They, um, yeah. they get the job done. But um, uh, yeah, look, at the end, Liverpool a little bit on the ropes. Um, Kulisevsky. Kulis- got, yeah. And that's the thing, but when Kulisevsky plays, I think that the front three has a bit more of a balance, you know. He, he was out, Son was looked off and... Kane's and well, Kane's get, getting Son's, the goals. Son's got that doing, surgery thing that's going on at the moment. Yeah, but this is um, when, when there's a front three of, yeah. of Kane, Richarlison, and Son. The balance is not right. But when Kulusevski's in there, it kind of makes a worker there. I think per- Perisic played a bit higher, had a few chances maybe to get a goal. I think they hit the post yeah. in the first half. Then they hit the crossbar in the second. Yeah. Uh, knocking on that door, Kane finally got the goal. I think that one took a, def- a little bit of a deflection to go um, to go in the back of yeah, the net. But it was way too late and you, it was kind of game over by then and Liverpool get the three points and they bounce back, Steve. They bounce back and then, you know, they need look, they creeping need. closer because now Chelsea lost, we lost, they beat Spurs, so they're closing in on that on that gap for the for the top four, uh, top four chase. Mm. I honestly think that at the moment um, Spurs... Spurs have to have to look at the at at the at their bench. They have to look at their starting line. They have to start thinking about, and I mean, Conte. This is has to start changing the shape a little bit. 
I think it's become too predictable that they're going to sit there and absorb all the pressure and see if they can hit teams on the counter. It's <coughs> not going to work every time. It's not. And at the moment, with um, with a team like Liverpool or any team that's going to come at Spurs now, they're going to they've got them they've got them figured out. It's like they're going to sit back and we're going to have to you know they're going to try and swallow up all this all this pressure and hopefully we're going to get ourselves a goal. And they are leaking goals. Their defense isn't good enough. Yeah. You got Lloris. It's time for him to be. See you later. We're talking Emerson Royale. Like he sounds like a fucking box of chocolates. Like seriously, mate, the guy's a fucking joke. No, no shit. They went and bought Eves Basuma. It's like well we haven't got enough de- defensive midfielders. Let's get another one. You got fucking Hoiberg. You got fucking. Yves Basuma, you got fucking Benton Kerr, all the same style of fucking midfielder. You got Jed Spence because he's not a fucking signing from fucking Conte. He's going to sit him on his ass and play Doherty over him. This is a lot of things that yeah. Spurs are looking at at the moment, and it could be from manager to ownership to squad. I don't think they're going to be successful this season. And if they're not successful this season, that's another season that Spurs are just participating. Not because I'm wearing this. No. You guys have been participating in the Premier League way too long. You've got to hurry up and win one. Yeah. At least one. At least something, at no, least look, something, right? Not not golden boots, win something. something. Yeah, yeah, you know what and I mean. That, that's individual. That's individual awards, golden boots. You know what I mean. Yeah, and do you know what? It will be. It will be for for their fans. It will be disappointing because their most successful period, you can say, in the Premier League. Yeah. You haven't yeah. won anything at all, bro. So it's, it will be the, even a cup, even one of the domestic cups, which they FA should cup. be going for. Yes. They should be going for them cups. Mm. Those but Mickey we'll Mouse they, cups, yeah, apparently. They, yeah. But we'll see how they go in the next couple of weeks as well. War cups around the corner. I think that's about it, Steve. No, that well, is another so week. We had, of we had another game that we have to cover. Action. And you know what that was? Another. That was, that was a, hold that, on, which, that, where are we? You where put are? that back up, you <laughs> fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't I don't even know which one you are, bro. Don't, don't fuck around now. Don't fu- Here we go. Another week of Premier League action <laughs> done and dusted. <laughs> don't fuck me around. So we, had Man- so we had good evening. We had Man United. No, we didn't. No, no, no. You better show me that. Go on. Where? Go on. No, no. Don't fuck around. Don't fuck around. Don't bro. Fuck around. Don't fuck around. November, November 7th, 2021. <laughs> this was during lockdown. Oh, here, we go, here we go. Here we go. Listen to me, son. We gotta talk about the Man United game. What went right? <laughs> what went wrong? Why did it happen? Now I'm talking to the Man United man. If anyone knows fucking Man United in Australia, it's fucking you. <sighs> what? No, I, your honestly, your defense honest, has bro. looked fucking good. Yeah. I bro. mean, without a, without that Varane, we're in fucking trouble. But bad day at the office, bro. It's one. Of, it's, it was one of them games. It, it, was, it was disappointing, bro. That you're not up for it. You saw Arsenal just beat Chelsea. You think there's a yeah. there's there's an opportunity to get a, get away from from Chelsea a little bit, um, maybe get on top of or get closer to Newcastle. We're playing at the same time, mm. and you knew Liverpool and Tottenham were playing. You knew you're, Liverpool. You're, look, I think we all knew Liverpool. Someone's dropping points there, so either you get away from Liverpool uh, uh, for, like, by a couple more points, seven eight points, or you, you get equal with Spurs. Those three points would have made you equal. Yeah, yeah, I think so. With Spurs, I think we would have been equal. Just goal difference. I think they had a better goal difference, but. You know, we decided to uh, roll back the years to the start of the year and fucking concede almost straight away again. And, bro, uh, that's, one, that's one that I said again. I, got, I worry when we concede first. I just think we capitulate. It's weird, bro, because this year, when we lose, we lose. It's not like, oh, close. No, no, we get slapped. Every time we've yeah, lost, we've yeah, got slapped. Yeah, yeah. All right, I know it was 2-1 against Brighton in, in the first game, but they scored an own goal and we were off the paces, bro. Then that 4-0, then City, and I think this was about four, fourth loss now. So we went decent run. Yeah, we beat you guys. You beat us. Yeah, they beat, beat Liverpool. They beat Liverpool. They beat us. We should have beat Chelsea. And then they lose to the fucking Villa. Yeah, but and that's the but thing, bro. That. But... You got to be up for it, bro. You need to be up for it. These players, you got to question the players today. You got to question the managers' decisions today. Um, and yeah, bro, it, it's 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 a game that you don't, don't want to really want to. Because I, I, I was looking at your squad, and I knew and I knew Bruno was out for suspension, so I thought that's going to be a big hit. You know what I mean? The the creativity's kind of go downhill with fucking Van der Beek, Anthony not there. I was like, the fuck. Yeah, I don't know, bro. He's picked up a knock. He hasn't been apparently. I don't know if that's it's for the skill you that he's used done. In that bro, game. we need him. We we can't have look Ganacho, you did okay, but bro, like what, what are you you're, you're putting him on the right where where Rashford's best position is sorry, on the left, where Rashford's best position is out, out on the left. You're putting Rashford on the right now. Non existent really in this game. He, he, you can you can see that he tried, but not really, bro. To be honest, Ronaldo non-existent doesn't offer anything at all. The guy was meant to be the captain today. He had the armband on, did fuck all, bro. Like, if you're not gonna offer anything, why is it? And I don't know if I don't know if he's he, he's 
He's been told to pick Ronaldo because obviously he hasn't picked Ronaldo before. I get it. Martial. Martial, please stay fit, bro. You need to stay fit because you're the only guy at the moment that we have that can at least link up, play, and fucking cause a bit of a havoc up front. And you mm-hmm. and he, he he kind of I know he hasn't really been hasn't really been the best in the last couple of years, but we saw in preseason and we saw at the start of the year, he he makes Rashford and Sancho better players because of the link up. Because they just got a bit more of an understanding. Bro, please just stay fucking fit, bro. We can't have Ronaldo on the field, bro. Like, I love the guy. You know, he'll be he'll he'll be my GOAT. You know, he'll, <laughs> legend, whatever whatever the, the fans want to look at him. The, him I, can, I can separate him from the player to what, what's kind of happening now. Do you know what I mean? It's kind of fucking watching like Game of Thrones where it's been hectic his whole career. <laughs> hectic, then season nine comes along and it's fucking rubbish. Just shit ending, bro. That's what's happening to Ronaldo, bro. Just a shit fucking ending for him. And bro, it's like you can't shoot. Bro, they were telling me the other day, right, oh, if Ronaldo stayed on against fucking Newcastle, he scores that header that, that Rashford had. Oh, Ooh, we had the header. Yeah, yeah. Same header straight to the fucking goalkeeper, bro. But look, you know what I mean? It, it, it is frustrating just the way, like, bro, all right, we, we got a lucky goal. We got a lucky goal. Dinier's free kick, unbelievable, fantastic, great player. First goal in Bailey, 50 years. Bailey <laughs> the, the size the fucker to have his best game of his life. Yeah, whatever, great, a good game. Ramsey scored, did Ramsey score as well? Ramsey scored the, 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 the third, third goal. goal. He also scored the own goal, so tried to help us out. Yeah. So Luke Shaw hits a you know, massive deflection and it goes in. And it, bro, that's, you need to get lucky sometimes to get back into these but games. That's your wake up call. Yeah, that's your wake up like, call. That's boys, a, let's, let's get go. In there let's now. get into him. Yeah, fucking three minutes into the second half, game over, bro. We copped that goal, and we just didn't look like, bro. We didn't create any more chances after that to be like, oh, we're into this. Up for yeah, bro, we're not up for it. But it is what it is, bro. Some players you need to question them. Donny, I don't know, bro. You've had your chances. He was horrible you haven't in that lived, game. You haven't lived up to the expectation. Um, Lindelof again, leaving too many gaps. He, he wasn't as compact. Today, as it usually first was, goal, I think the first, first goal, goal. Uh, second goal as well, bro. You're just letting him, letting him the players run, and then no one's, whoever's in the midfield, no one. I know Ericsson was there, but then I can't remember if Casemiro was in there in the mix. But who's picking up? Um, is it was it Ramsey? It was Ramsey Ram- that got yeah, that who, third goal? Was Ramsey? Yeah, but who, yeah, who was picking him up, bro? Like fuck, no he was awareness. Open. Yeah, he no was awareness. The low today, crosses were off, and it was just a bit of a. I don't know, bro. Just stupid decision making from the lot of them today. But look, it is what it is, bro. Straight out, it is what it is. I know myself what kind of season it is going to be. It's going to be up and down. So either we fucking play hectic or we get slapped up like this. And it is what it is, bro. You look at previous managers, look at Klopp when he first came in. They were winning games, but it was like 6 5. Yeah. Conceding yeah, yeah. and winning and like losing big, but then yeah. like it was all over the place, bro. And look, we're, we're part in, in a part of a rebuild. I said to, I said at the preview, I said, if we finish fifth and I see a bit of improvement, even with the squad that we have, then okay, I'll be I'll be I'll be happy. This but we need pretty, to we need to win a fucking trophy squad. as well, bro. We got we got Villa again this week. You go out there, you fuck him up this time. I don't know where we're playing. I don't know if it's our Old Trafford or wherever. But you go out now, you beat him in the cup. You you go fuck you cunts. Then you go to you go to uh, Fulham again. I don't know where we're playing. <laughs> They've been in decent form, but bro, the Take last the thing you want, the last the thing you want is to go to a World Cup in a big break with on on the back of a loss. You want to get in. Get, get a fucking mad you wanna, result. You want to be on a high. 3-0, yeah. 4-0, because teams have scored against them. And you need, you need to just get the job done. But, bro, it is what it is. You know, I, I, yeah, of course, I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed. But you can't do much, bro. Villa with a better team. Um, Unai Emery's back in the Premier League. He got he got his play. I don't know how much training he had with the, their players. Yeah, but it is what much, it is, bro. You know what, this it team. It is disappointing. Yeah. Villa... Villa fucking deserved that. There's not much more you can say. Um, and yeah, bro, look, it is, it is what it is. We move on to the next one. We move on to the next one. Look, guys, this is a short one. Short one today. Quick, rapid, fire, Arsenal. I'm fucking sick of the sight. My boys. I can't help it, you know. My like, boys trying to figure them fucking left to right. Right, right to, to left. left you know, fuck, trying to figure it out Front still. to back. You front don't know back. what the we fuck the know, goal bro. is, We don't eh, know bro. what the goal is. But look, we'll get there. Chelsea. As long as Chelsea and Spurs are in strife as well. as we, We're in it together. <laughs> we're going. We're, we'll go forward, bro. But then Newcastle, you little bastards. Fucking hanging about like a bad rash. But guys, like always, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Look, one more week. Another preview before the World Cup next week. And then we're going to get into that World Cup stuff. We've got the Aussie Guna. Go check his channel out slowly. We're getting it up there. Trying to hit 500 very soon as well. Yeah, so make sure you go like, share, and hit subscribe on his channel. And guys, we'll catch you next week. Uru goes. <laughs> <laughs>